Well, hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching this video. If this is your first visit, my name is Matt Samolski. I'm Matt the Car Guy, and this is a 2021 Corvette convertible now this beautiful car is at mercedes-benz of hoffman estate and i gotta tell you this video is so special for several reasons number one i've been chasing this car for almost an entire year ever since i started my channel which is almost to the day exactly one year ago i was trying to get my hands on a corvette to review and every time that i got close to one it was either sold before i got to the dealership or the dealership simply didn't want me to film it so the second reason this is special that my first very first car review was right here on this lot as a matter of fact on the other side of this lot it was a GLE 53 June of 2020 I started my channel you guys helped me grow to 2,000 subscribers and you know almost a million views as of right now so with that said I would love to bring you more content to this channel but I need your help the manufacturers the dealerships they look at my channel and they go like hey you know once you get to a 10,000 subscriber come in and we'll talk to you as far as giving you cars to review and i'd love them to give me the car so i can provide you with some information about vehicles but that's enough about this i gotta tell you this is probably one of the most beautiful cars on the market right now and if you don't agree then you need to have your eyesight adjusted just take a look at this this beautiful beautiful piece of art and piece of great engineering right here is the eighth generation chevy corvette and today i'm going to take you on the tour of this vehicle we're going to check out the exterior interior i'm going to show you some of the cool and interesting features on the interior of this vehicle and finally i'm going to take you with me for a ride so if you're ready let's go Well, let's get down and personal right here in this car. I gotta tell you a couple things that I love about it. The, this, first of all, the design of this car is absolutely amazing. It looks like an Italian sports car, but the lights, look how nice aerodynamic low lights is and see what happens when you hit the unlock on the car. First, the signal, uh, turn signal blinks and then this LED stripe illuminates and it progressively gets brighter and brighter just to let you know that the car is unlocked now it does have the full led lights in here at the bottom here the whole setup right here typical of a race car it does those huge air intakes right in here this is wide open see the, you can see the radiator in here and then you can see this a trim piece that's carbon fiber as well as this trim piece right here that's basically the shiny black k 
cameras on both sides corvette written right here a little bit of that matte gray plastic in here and so typical those corvette wings with the checker flying on one side and the chevy log on the other side now what's also pretty cool in here it is sits pretty low to the ground so uh, a lot of you might be like hey i'm gonna scrape that bumper every time i get in my driveway well guess what corvette thought about it chevy thought about it and they equipped it with a two almost a two inch axle lift so what that means that every time you get up here you're able to raise this vehicle up to two inches and then it's going to memorize it one one of the thousand memory locations can be memorized and every time you pull up in the same area it's going to automatically do that for you now so that's about the front of this vehicle now let's check out of what's in here and you might think hey it's an engine right no this is the first Corvette ever that has the engine in the middle okay now there's been attempts of making the Corvette a mid or rear engine but you know not until this one that it actually came through so how do you open this thing you can open it one of the three different ways one of them on this brand new remote it's got the front trunk and the rear trunk to open but if you don't have remote on you and the car is unlocked all you do is go underneath the light right here there's a little button okay it opens up the storage area and let's check out how deep it is so normally we're walking up on the engine compartment and right here in front all you can see that there is a little bit of storage and what do we have it's a pretty deep storage okay right here you have a little bit of a net and a couple of different like uh, bags that you can close but what else is in here I'm not quite sure of why there is a power outlet in this storage unless you want to put a cooler in here that might be it you want to put a cooler in here and plug it in and keep it nice and cool and also federal regulation <laughs> require manufacturers to put like an escape hatch so in case somebody i'm not sure how that would happen but somebody would be locked in side of this vehicle they can actually hit this button it's nice it glows in the dark and they can get out of here from the insides okay your windshield uh, washer fluid right in here and that's it you can't really see anything up here now what's also pretty cool look at the size of this this is like a cracked egg almost no they didn't make it straight they made it look 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 at this they made this with this kind of zigzag in the front trunk which is actually looks pretty darn good and this one right here has those racing stripes across the car and also let's take a look in here it's got those stingray graphics right on the side race stripes on the side of this vehicle okay so this is the side profile and take a look at this I, I should probably get out of the way so you can enjoy it and admire this side profile of it now it, it, it's a typical of a sports vehicle and because the engine is actually right here right in the middle of this car these are functional air intakes the air comes in and it helps with cooling the engine now what also very interesting about this you can see there is no door handles anywhere right here there's a little um, door handle right underneath here which you can basically push and open the door this is the electronic button right here so Matt what's gonna happen if you incidentally battery goes dead you don't have a remote and how do you get in this car well there is a little uh, keyhole right on this side right here i'll give you a little close-up of it in just a little bit so you can see so in case you lock yourself out but you still have that little key the battery drains you can actually get inside this this car but if you look at the profile of this vehicle that side sill right here <laughs> over here indentation nicely profiled very aggressively profiled to be one of a sports vehicle now the mirrors right here um, they're not big but I've been inside the car you can see really nicely out of them they're also really nice and sporty as far as this now this is also you can see this is a convertible right you've seen it on that little b-roll that I made in front you can open it up with the remote the car opens it up basically you can push it, the button from the inside but you can also so push a button on the remote and actually this top will open up it is a hardtop convertible and the engineers made this so it's as 
as stiff as a regular coupe or almost as stiff as a regular coupe now it does add um, about 80 pounds or so to the regular Corvette so is it gonna affect the performance well, we're gonna talk about that in just a little bit but let's continue with the design of it if you take a look I love these wheels okay I'm not sure if these came on this vehicle or they were added because I've seen some Corvettes with kind of a plain wheels these look awesome those black wheels and they do have Corvette logos in here now it also says Corvette on this red brake calipers and it's got the Z51 right here so that means that it does have that sporty Z51 appearance package performance package if you will now it is equipped with the summer tires and this one has the Michelin's on it those are the summer tires and let's take a look at the sizes in front because that's interesting 245 by 35 19 in the front let's see if it's the same in the back okay 305 30 20 okay so the rim is 20 versus 19 and the tires the width of them is 305 versus 245 it is a rear wheel drive vehicle so we want to make sure that it sticks to the round as much as it can that's why they put those wide wide tires in the back also a bigger size rim on it it looks absolutely gorgeous let's see if we can check out the trunk in here and see how much room there is Okay, guys so let's check out the back of this vehicle because i gotta tell you it's one of my favorite parts of this car now it wasn't like this when i first saw the pictures of it i was like yeah the front is awesome but the back come on what you guys do with that you took the camera back and put it on this one nothing like this this is completely of its own and when you think corvette before you always think of the oval round lights in the back they changed that they put those pretty cool double feature on the lights completely LED lights turn signals are right here backup sensors I'm gonna push the lock button so you can see how the signal works okay look how it, uh, it goes it progressively goes from the fully lit to extinguished basically towards the side that it's turning to now like the air exhaust right here these are actually open so the air can come out this beautiful wing this wing makes the back of this car no questions asked I like this if I had to order a Corvette would definitely have one of this now this is a 3LT package it's a convertible it does have the Z51 so it's got all the bells and whistles that you can imagine on this vehicle and you know what <laughs> we're going to talk about the price in just a little bit but take a look at the exhaust okay two on each side two big exhausts on each side now it's got this trim piece right here and this is open again this is for that air to come out from the inside this is open right here the racing stripes that go across the car from the front to the back and now this is this has the rear trunk right here so we can open this and check out how much room there is in side of here I guess let's check this out let's check this out they have this little trunk open and it does it have a lot of room no but you can fit just the basic maybe groceries you're not going to be able to fit your golf bag in here I don't think so but it, it is pretty deep you know when I read about it between both front and back if you were to combine the storage space the cubic feet or cubic inches it would be the same as in the previous generation one obviously it's divided and it looks completely different so you know it depends on if you need more room you need another car then basically okay so stingray right here logo okay and the engine is right there okay so normally when I talk to you about the engine you can actually see this engine but because it's right here and there's no way for us to really get into it uh, I'm just gonna tell you about it it is a 6.2 liter naturally aspirated engine 490 horsepower or 495 if you opt in for the z51 uh, option package right here it, it, it does have 470 pound feet of torque and you know so what the with the z51 that's important because it's five extra horsepower it does have the performance exhaust it does have the bigger wheels and performance tires and the electronic limited slip differential is also part of that package so if you're looking to put that car on the track it's well worth the money we're going to talk about it how much it costs in just a little bit but it's very important to also know 
that these tests at 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds. 2.9 is what Corvette or Chevy says. 2.8 for a lot of people that I saw the reviews actually tested it at. So this is actually faster than the previous generation performance models both Z06 and ZR1s which had a lot more horsepower but because the power is so close to the ground and so close to the wheels they were able to make this vehicle perform better than the performance models on the other one I can't even think of what's going to happen whether they're going to come up with the Z06 the ZR1 and the performance models for this generation ones but let's stick to this one right here what's also important to mention that the only transmission that is available is a dual clutch eight speed automatic transmission no more manual i know it's disappointing for some of the corvette owners but from what i heard and from what i've been able to just drive around here uh, this transmission is pretty cool and i'm going to test it out once we're going to take it on the road but before we do that let's check this out well first of all let's see how the door closes you just got to keep in mind that this is frameless okay this got no frame so it's going to sound a little bit different than the regular door but it still sounds pretty darn good and we're going to jump inside because the interior again has been completely changed what's interesting most of the upgrades or most of the redesigns are kind of based on the previous generation model now this one is the first one in ever i think as far as the corvette that they basically put a clean slate and design a completely different vehicle there is no bolt that's the same as on the previous generation Corvette which is amazing and they really did a tremendous job uh, that just take a look at it once we get inside you're probably gonna appreciate it even more so let me take you on the tour of the interior of this vehicle and look how nice this trim is but let's open this up and let's check out the door so first of all okay you can see both stereo nice quality materials this aluminum trim both performance series stereo memory seats contrast stitching now this is again this is part of that uh, uh, package the, the, remember this is the top of the line so this is what you get now to open the door which is kind of different than on the other cars there's no regular door handle you basically push this button it releases the door and you push it open well okay this is lock and unlock your mirror and window controls this is where you open up your convertible top and this is where you lower that middle screen that's right behind the seats we'll check that out right here see that middle glass right in between that raises and lowers okay yeah. front trunk and the rear trunk basically this is where it's controlled from here but what happens if the battery goes bad or god forbid you're in an accident something happens you need to get out of the car if you need to use the emergency manual open on the thing you basically how you do is you pull it and it's going to release the door manually so you don't have to push that you don't have to rely on this being an automatic one electronic one basically now stingray right in here you know what we're looking at right Corvette see how big is this door sill right in here and the seats now those are the sport performance seats it's nice leather contrast stitching carbon fiber inserts Corvette logos right in the headrest beautiful beautiful car now it looks aggressive but it doesn't look overly aggressive it looks like a regular sized person is going to be able to fit in here now before we get in there because i won't be able to turn around take a look at there's a surround sound right here speaker now there is a wireless charger for your phone where you can put right in between the seats in the back there's a little bit of a storage compartment right in here okay we can open this just tiny little storage okay your cup holders actually we're gonna get inside of it and check out the rest of that side on this side what do you have you have a head-up display info and the brightness this is for your head-up display controls now i'm gonna squeeze in there and show you the rest of it guys let's start on the interior of it super excited look at this it's like a freaking airplane cockpit it looks awesome look at the steering wheel chevy corvette logo right here top top of the steering wheel is flat bottom of the steering wheel is flat straight out of a race car straight like a formula one car here 
what's lit up I press this on it turns on what they call a Z mode which is a sport mode for the Corvette but what it does it also it, it turns off the traction control electronic stability control it stiffens up this vehicle this is ready for racing right now and right here you have the dynamic cruise control settings you have your favorite buttons right on the side here big nice this is cold to the touch i like it it's high quality materials i'm so excited about it because they didn't skimp out on anything and still kept the price affordable now uh, up and down obviously for manual shifters now what you can see heated steering wheel right here you have your voice control now this controls what's going on in the instrument cluster which we're going to go in here and this is the rest of your basically driver's cockpit right here you have a strip of buttons we're gonna go through them and see what they are they're nicely located all within reach very nice okay as far as the instrument cluster so as typical race car right you have your tachometer right in the middle so you can see your rpms right there miles per hour you know electronic display it's full electronic by the way you can see the miles per hour display right underneath here and then you have your oil temperature g-force trip computer fuel economy etc etc so i mean you have your wrench so you have a plethora of information in here now the buttons on the steering wheel here's what they control so you have your trip computer right and this is trip one and trip two now if you want to go to the side here's performance performance timer okay zero to 60 accelerate to strike maybe we'll check that out now you have your radio stations maintenance options display design okay let's check this out z display sport okay track weather i don't care about weather who cares okay look at this this gives you a track display so that gives you the temperature coolant temperature um, oil pressure okay and then it has the g-force miles per gallon rpms and speed basically that gives you this and then you have a uh, hud display head-up display which by the way uh, i'm gonna put this camera up here and see if you can see it uh, because it is visible and it's pretty bright it's pretty big your head-up display okay so you can change that display i'm not sure if you can see it from sport track see how it changes right now now your infotainment system this is your gm infotainment system so it's actually pretty simple to use um, you have your home button right in here this is all touch screen so you can see your apps very accessible very easy to access it's actually within the right distance and you know you have your shortcuts right here let's see the camera okay so you have several different views front and rear cameras let's see which one this is this is a front camera see so you have two front cameras so if you're getting close to the curb you're actually going to be able to see whether you're going to hit it or not so this is the top view and this is the front views of the cameras so awesome system now this is a low car you don't want to scratch it it's an expensive car too so now the rear cameras right here you have the wide angle nice okay this is not a huge display but it's actually enough for what you need and then you can turn off your trajectory lines okay if you'd like to in here now i'm not going to go through all of that features in here let's just see what's uh, typical for this particular car and this is one of them so it's a performance data recorder and basically that's pretty cool here's what it does it does have you can start recording you have the video overlay you have recordings right here no sd card available so if you put the sd card and put a settings in here and you can put automatic recording on or off okay so whenever your vehicle starts you can have this automatic recording on that basically is a cool feature because this is kind of like your onboard camera your dash camera so in case of any accident you know it's going to keep a recording of whatever happens you can set up the video recording quality software information so there's no recordings and you can do the lap timing okay custom track let's see
there's no there's no track saved in here but you can start recording there's no SD so if there was an SD card you can start recording and it's actually pretty cool climate control camera um, so climate control basically that's your on screen very easy to use very self-explanatory you know no guessing games or anything like this you can figure it out in the in a split second navigation okay nice screen bright okay go back to the home screen user settings phone audio now the audio okay you gotta trust me on this got a really nice stereo system it's a both performance series stereo sounds really really good unfortunately due to some copyright issues i can't play anything in here but that's the infotainment system okay start and stop engine button right in here okay and let's check out this part right here because this is your gear shifter okay you see we're in park in order to get to reverse you have to lift it up okay puts it in the reverse and it basically you know turns on the camera okay you push it to get to neutral if you'd like to you push it to get to park and then you pull it again you know to get to drive so you know push it everything that's stationary basically pull it everything that makes the vehicle move that's how that works manual mode it turns off first shift to drive then try again so you gotta put it in drive and then you can put it in the manual mode and it displays on the screen right here it's m1 okay and then you can shift the gears manually so we're going to turn off the manual mode i don't really care about that for now and we'll go back put it in park and move it back here so here's your traction control you can turn that off here's that axle raising so let's see if we can see how the car raises Okay, you can hear it. It raised about maybe two inches or so, but it raised significantly. You can actually see that moving, okay? And then there's another button right here for the front camera, so that turns on that front camera in here. So this is a pretty cool feature. Now, what also you have here, you have this, you have your palm rest right here. That's, you know, maybe if you're used to manual transmission and you just need to rest your hand somewhere, but it also has modes right underneath it. There's this little twist dial that you control your drive modes. So when you select the drive modes, let's see what we have. Race, one, two, performance, sport. Okay, so there's several different modes that are available for you. I don't think I wanna go in the race mode. I think that might be a little bit excessive, but sport, we're gonna check that out. Okay, now it's raised. I'm gonna lower this vehicle now. See vehicle lowering. Now we can't forget when looking at this whole strip of buttons right here now that's where some of the people that's where it got a lot of criticism but i think it's pretty darn cool to have all of them and they're self-explanatory okay first of all temperature control then your heated ventilated seats your sink for the temperature your auto for the temperature you have your vent positioning you have your fan speed right here you have your power main power button you have your ac on or off recirculating button and back again to the front window defog or rear window defroster heated ventilated seats temperature control for the passenger and this is it that's what you go that's what you get for this now there is a glove box right here okay decent size okay let's check out the rest of this car really quick beautiful combination of aluminum leather a little bit of vinyl this red contrast stitching is absolutely amazing but what's also amazing here they didn't have to do it but look at the design of the dashboard this kind of a double tier design i love it this is even right here that mimics that aerodynamics of the vehicle right in here check it out okay i love the way it looks so i gotta tell you what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna open up the roof you've seen it open from the exterior let's open it up because i want to take this for a spin one button you don't have
have to do anything. It opens up. Here you go. I'm gonna put my sunglasses on. We'll see you guys back in a second. Okay, the shades are on. The top is off. The seat belts, I'm working on them. But I'm ready to take this for a spin. But I, I wanna point something out for you. Now, these are very hard to get cars. So you're gonna see a lot of them in the secondary market. Meaning that you're gonna see, you know, some of them, you know, that are, well, you very rarely is gonna find one for less than 100 grand. And that's usually the base one right now okay and the chip shortage not really helping that so it's supply and demand but when you look at chevy website and you look at the configurator of this vehicle if you're willing to wait indefinitely really then you know convertible starts at 68,495 and the regular coupe starts at 60,995 which is a thousand dollar increase from the last year's model uh, but if you hit convertible on this configurator and we're gonna look at trim. So there's one LT, two LT, and three LT. This is a three LT, okay? So we're gonna try to build this similar to this. Color, torch red, which was sitting right here. It's beautiful. Accent stripes, another thousand bucks for accent stripes. We're gonna uh, go through packages z51 it's six thousand dollars this is the performance package and that you the suspension the electronic limited slip differential performance ratio rear axle z21 performance brambo anti-lock brakes and you know there's more to it but basically those are the staggered wheels staggered tires etc etc six grand that's for the performance package right here it's not a super aggressive growl on this one but it is definitely pleasant to the ear and especially when you have the top down it gives you that extra ability to hear it oh wow guys all i have to say is wow on this one I, I didn't even try hard enough and, and you can hear like that rev matching right here you know I can hear it's downshifting the gears and, and you can hear the engine kind of rev matching with the with the speed it's absolutely unbelievable it, it goes by itself I mean it's really quick it's really responsive but yet at the same time you definitely feel like you're in control I'm gonna turn it around and i'm gonna try it one more time and see if that time maybe we're gonna have the ability to stop and go from stop i'm not gonna do the launch control um it, it is a you know it's gonna be somebody else's car i'm not gonna beat on it um, this is a pre-owned vehicle it does have 1700 miles in case you uh, some of you are gonna say matt it's a brand new car don't rip on it right away somebody's already driven it it's uh, it has been uh, broken in so um, you know, I'm not really too concerned about that. And now let's see. This thing is unbelievable. It's super quick. It sounds great. It, it catches up to the cars in front of you, even though they had a huge advantage over me. I just love the way that it drives. I think it's incredible. For what you get with this packages, that this one comes standard, there's really no need for tuning it. It sticks to the road. It's very nice. Now, the nice part about it too is if you're driving less than 35 miles per hour, you can actually close or open the top. So this is a big advantage. You don't have to stop. You don't have to, you know, get everything situated before you actually close it or open it. Here you go. I just did it while driving. Extremely quick extremely quick so 
impressed by the ability of this car and mind you I'm only able to check it out on the road within the common sense within the speed limit so you know I'm just accelerating it but I'm not going past to like the top speed I can only imagine what somebody that knows what they're doing and someone who really would appreciate this car taking it on track or you know taking it somewhere where it's safe to drive at the high speeds this is just a taste and I'm completely amazed with it of what they've done to make this vehicle what it is the look of it and it definitely turns a lot of heads you know while people are looking at me while driving they go like well what is it they're still not used to the new look of this it's absolutely incredible I gotta tell you I did two cars today for Mercedes-Benz of Hoffman Estates those guys are super nice I have did two American icons basically a 2021 Ram 1500 TRX 700 horsepower and almost 500 horsepower in this and I gotta tell you if I had the means to buy both of these cars right now that be on the truck being shipped to Florida so these this is how impressed I am and I drive a lot of cars here and this is from rolling this is from rolling this is what it does I, I'm kind of glad that I don't have this car for an extended period of time because God knows what would happen uh, I'd have definitely too much fun with it but definitely give it a huge two thumbs up guys if you like watching videos like this please help me help you by providing your content with new vehicles by subscribing and liking this channel it really means a lot to me and believe it or not not even financially but it helps me get the exposure that I need to have access to vehicles that otherwise would not be available to me so it's all thanks to you so thank you again for being part of the Matt the car guy family and I will see you in my next video cheers